To reduce the pollution level in Delhi NCR, IIT Kanpur conducted a trial for cloud seeding to achieve artificial rain. Well, whether the target was achieved or not, to talk more on this issue, we are being joined by IIT Kanpur Director Professor Manendra Agrawal. Uh, sir, a trial was conducted today. Uh, there was a big hype which was being created. The questions are being asked by several uh, you know, people, whether it be the opposition parties or the stakeholders, that whether the targets were achieved because no rainfall was seen in different parts of Delhi NCR. How do you see uh, you know, the process which was conducted? Well, the cloud seeding by its very nature is uh, there is a certain amount of uncertainty associated with it. Uh, we have been saying right from the beginning that we need clouds with reasonable amount of moisture in order to make it rain. Today, unfortunately, the moisture content in the cloud was not very high, about 15%. At the same time, the uh, seeding that we did has resulted in very good data that we have collected from 15 different locations in Delhi where the seeding was done. And uh, that data tells us that uh, both PM 2.5 and PM 10 content did come down by roughly about 6 to 10 percent. Uh, and that, I believe, is a very interesting observation that we have been able to collect. One must keep in mind here that till date in the India, there has not been any cloud seeding attempt to elevate pollution, which is done during the winter months. The earlier cloud seeding at attempts have been done in for drought relief, which is uh, trying to get uh, clouds during the monsoon season or thereabouts, which uh, uh, generally have a larger moisture content. So what uh, we attempted today uh, was in some sense unique. There was no data to develop our understanding and today's seeding has given us good data. We hope to do uh, more seeding in future. In fact, uh, we are planning uh, seeding, uh, do more seedings very soon and uh, we'll collect more data from it. And th this will build our understanding of what it takes to address the problem of pollution in Delhi. Sir, as you uh, said that the final report suggested that there had been reduction in the PM 2.5 and PM 10 level, uh, which in fact are the dust particles which in fact reduce the pollution. Sir, how is it possible because the rain didn't happen, then to the PM level come down? What are the technicalities of it? So, uh, one must understand for this the mechanism that uh, happens during cloud seeding. When we inject these tiny particles into the clouds, the water starts condensing around each particle and when there is enough condensation it falls down as a water droplet. When there are enough water droplets which is corresponds to higher moisture content in the cloud, then all these water droplets drop down on the ground. Some of them gets lost on the way but there is enough water droplets which come down to the ground causing rain. If there are not enough water droplets, then they do drop down, but they just stay in the atmosphere. They do not result in uh, perceptible rain. At the same time, if there are there is more moisture, more droplets in the air, each droplet will absorb some amount of dust, these pollution particles, thereby uh, leading to a reduction in the these particles. Sir, so there have been political uh, statements, although you don't uh, answer the political statements that out of your arena, but uh, there have been certain questions raised regarding the cost of this whole process. The parties are raising the question that expenditure happened, but the result, result did not come. What was the total expenditure, an idea you can give that happened in this cloud seeding process? And uh, in future, do you see it coming down or uh, do, you, do you think that it's going to make any of the difference on the fixed cost? What are your calculations? So if we see the uh, entire operation of today, uh, as per the information I have received, we covered almost uh, 300 square kilometer of area. 
while doing seeding. And the cost of doing that, if you, you know, add the cost from flying out of Kanpur, going to Meerut, flying from, from there and doing the seeding, then going back to Meerut, uh, we still have to see the final numbers, but uh, my sense is it will not be more than 50, 60 lakhs of rupees, which turns amounts to about 20,000 rupees per square kilometer. If you just uh, extend this uh, over the entire winter season of Delhi, and also that the fact that on average you expect such clouds to be av available once in 10 days, it amounts to somewhere around 30 odd crore rupees over the entire season, which uh, for a important city like Delhi, where the entire budget for addressing the pollution problem is far higher than this. Therefore, I don't think cost really is an issue here. Okay. Sir, so there was a statement given to given by Manjinder Singh Sirsa, who is the uh, minister to Ashtag India today, in which he said that 10-15% uh, is a very low kind of figure for the moisture, but IIT Kanpur was very confident that they might pull off this whole process in that. First of all, was the coordination being done with the IMD department? Did IIT Kanpur knew that the moisture level going to be so low and we yet car you know, carried out this whole process? Yeah, we were aware that the moisture content is low. Also, it is true that we wanted to conduct this seeding today. And the reason was very simple, as I mentioned earlier, we wanted to collect data to develop a better understanding of what the what we do compared and how does it correlate with what happens on the ground and uh, as i mentioned we do have the data we fired a total of 14 players covered an area of 300 odd square kilometer and we found is not substantial but some reduction in uh, this particle content so this gives us a good base point to start and or improve our understanding. Uh, as we do more and more seeding, we will have even better understanding of uh, what is the correlation between the seeding and its impact on the ground, which will allow us to better fine tune future seeding operations. Uh, one very last question, uh, the aircraft is stationed at Meerut today. It will go and uh, do the process again. How many sorties or how many round uh, can we expect of cloud seeding to happen today in Delhi and CR region? So we are planning two sorties today. And uh, we expect a little better moisture content today. Uh, let's hope that uh, we can do better today than earlier. Thank you so much for talking to us. This was Professor Manendra Agarwal. Satisfied with the kind of process, say their intention was, in fact, to get the figures and hopeful that today they'll get better results uh, from yesterday. With video journalist Shubham Shukla, this is Simar Chavla in Kanpur for India Today.